So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for the third of the FIFA 18 confirmed Wonder Kids videos of this series. Today I'm going to bring you another 10 players that have been performing so well in real life that they are guaranteed to be exceptional players on FIFA 18 career mode. And there are some real gems in this one, there's some players that you may not have heard of that have been just performing just very well in real life and obviously there's players that you may know because they've got a good potential on FIFA 17 as well. If you go on to enjoy the video, then make sure to slap a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. You can also check out the previous two of these uh, videos in the description. There'll be a playlist there for you to check out if you've missed those. But first of all, we have got the Czechoslovakian, no, not Czechoslovakian, the Czech player, Czech Republic now, not Czechoslovakia, uh, Jakub Jankto, of, or Jakub Jankto even. I'm not doing very well with my pronunciations today. Uh, the Udinese central midfielder, 76 rated. I feel like this guy's come out of nowhere during the course of FIFA 17. Wasn't necessarily very good in terms of potential at the start, but has now got 87 potential on the game, and I assume he'll have a potential similar to that on FIFA 18 as well. Clearly his performances over in Italy have done him justice. Three-star week for three-star skill moves, decent pace as well as balance and passing stats, decent curve, shot power, and long shots on him as well. So an all-round pretty decent central midfielder. Definitely watch out for the Udinese man. Next up is someone that I know very well because he plays for the team that I support and but as Liverpool fans, this guy is very exciting indeed. Trent Alexander-Arnold, the 68-rated right-back. Very pacey, good stamina as well. His defensive stats aren't actually that high for a full-back, but his passing stats are very good, which is why he can play as a winger and a central midfielder as well as being a full-back. I don't know what his potential is right now, but I'm really hoping it's something like 87 on the next game, because he is very good indeed. 17 years of age and 68 rated. That's a very high rating for that sort of age group. And he just generally very, very good in possession. He scores quite a lot of goals as well from the wing and from fullback too. Definitely watch out for him. His potential, he deserves a very, very high potential like this man currently has. This is the Dane Kasper Dolberg from Ajax. 77 rated at the start of the game if you're using the current customized settings. I assume his rating is going to be pretty similar to that as well. Very good goal scoring record in the Eredivisie this season. Failed to impress really in the Europa League final, but obviously getting that Ajax team, getting that extremely young Ajax side to a Europa League final in itself was a big, big, um, big ask and a big achievement from Kasper Dolberg and the rest of the side. Couldn't have got there without his goal scoring and he, of course, has been attracting the, um, the attention of scouts all over Europe, realistically. Same as this man here, Nadiem Amiri, one of the top youngsters to perform in the Bundesliga this season for Hoffenheim. I believe Hoffenheim finished, what, top five this season? They did a very good job with their 30-year-old manager, a very, very young manager, and this guy was influential in their good season. He's 77 rated currently and 19 years of age. Expect him to have a potential of around about 87 if I'm honest on the next game. He has been very very good indeed and a very talented young German who can play as an attacking mid, central mid and left mid as well with a best attribute of 82 being agility. Now we're moving very much under the radar to this man here. Now this is Faitu Muasa. I think that's how you pronounce this guy's name. He's a 64 rated left back. Um, on the game at the moment, he plays for AS Nancy Lorraine, but recently he's just signed for Rennes or Stade Rene in the French League. Now, I won't lie, you are unlikely to know about this guy unless you watch French football, but expect him to have a potential of at least 83 or 84 on the next game. Very good under the radar left back. Should get a very good Im uh, sort of boost or improvement, if you like, because he has been, but I think according to Squawker, he's been the best under 21 player or under eight under 21 defender in the entire French league beating the likes of Malang Sar, Yoris Nanon, who we saw in the first episode, so definitely watch out for him. After that, we've got Riccardo Orzellini, the man who was the top scorer in the Under-20 World Cup tournament from this summer for Italy. He plays for Ascoli at the moment on the game, but he's on loan from Juventus, expecting to play quite a few games for Juventus next season and break through like Moise Keane did this season. 19 years of age, from Italy, can play as a right winger or right midfielder. High attacking work rate. He is left-footed, though, so expect him to cut in from the wing. Very pacey and a nice little four-star skill moves as well, which is quite cheeky and quite na uh, quite nice, sorry, for the 67-rated player, but expect him to get into the 70s for the next game. After that, we've got Adamolo Luckman, another player who I think should be getting at least 70 rating on the next game. When he's played for Everton this season, he's looked good. He improved for Charl he impressed even for Charlton, uh, which is why he got the transfer to Everton in the January transfer window, I do believe it was. Can play as a striker.
striker or a left midfielder. Very pacey, very agile, and 80 balance as well, which is very high for his rating. Four-star weak foot uh, from England, 18 years of age, and he helped England win that under-20 World Cup that I've just mentioned in relation to Ricardo Orzellini. So he's been very busy over the summer. Very, very promising young player is Adam Oluckman. Now next up we've got Jengiz Under. I think I've pronounced that right. I actually Googled how to pronounce his first name, but I don't know about his second name. This is the Turkish winger who currently plays for Besiktas Medipol, I think it is, but he's just signed for Roma, I think, in real life from the Turkish side. Can play on both wings, 18 years of age, 74 rated, currently has a potential of 85, I think, which is very low to say he's 74 rated at 18. I think he'll get a much higher potential than that, especially playing in a league like the Italian league. I'm sure he'll just get a natural boost from EA given he's playing in a more prestigious league, so watch out for him as a young winger to buy, though you won't be able to buy him in the first transfer window. Unlike the man on the screen here, Malang Saar, unless he signs for someone new over this summer, you should be able to get him in the first transfer window, unlike this FIFA. He's a 74 rated uh, OGC Nice centre back, as I'm sure you are aware. Ridiculous physicals page when you think that he's only 17. Obviously, that all those attributes are going to grow. They're probably all going to become dark green by the time he's hit his potential, which is currently 88. Expect that to stay pretty similar for next season because he's performed pretty well for the French side. Can play as a centre back or a left back, of course. He is definitely going to be someone to watch out for. And along with that is his teammate here, Wyland Cyprian, the final player in this video. The central midfielder, 78 rated from France, again, playing of course for OGC Nice in the French League. Very, very all-rounded central midfielder. The only real stats that let him down are volleys and penalties. And, I mean, okay, penalties, it would be nice if he was good at those, but who, who even cares? When you look at the rest of his stats, he is so all-rounded, it's painful. And he can play all the way through central midfield as a holding midfielder or attacking midfielder. High attacking work rate, 21 78 is uh, 78 overall even and three star weak foot three star skill moves just a very all-round balanced central midfielder uh, he sort of came about as a bit of a hidden gem for this season after performances for RC Lons in um, the 20 what it would have been 2015 2016 season um, so yeah, he's been he's been good again this season for OGC Nice. Expect him to have a potential of at least 85, probably even 86 going forward into FIFA 18 career mode. So now then for the players to watch, the ones to watch, the ones that you're going to be able to get for good value for money, not the likes of Casper Dolberg, who, who you're going to have to pay like 40 mil to sign, the ones that maybe are starting with a more mid-table side that you can actually afford to bring in and are really guaranteed to absolutely have a sick potential. The first of which is Nadiem Amiri of Hoffenheim. He's 77 rated, but I'm pretty sure you can get him for like 15 to 20 million on FIFA 17. So even if his potential is slightly higher, you could probably get him for a similar price on FIFA 18 career mode. Hoffenheim never seemed to ask for too much for him. He seems to be a pretty easy player to bring in for a decent price. And the way he's been playing in the Bundesliga this season would indicate that he's going to be a very good player to bring in. He's going to have a very high potential, so definitely watch out for him. The second player is Trent Alexander-Arnold. Um, you'll also see as well, just off topic there's the predicted potential as well that's literally that's what it says on the tin I'm just that's the predict that's the potential that I'm predicting they will have uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold I'd be very surprised if he had a potential less than 86 I'm personally predicting 87 for him a lot of people have been saying on like so FIFA page and personally I just think so as well that he has a very bright future and I I just feel like he deserves a bit of a boost on that one I can't see him being much higher than 71 or 72 rated though at the start of the game which means you should be able to bring him in for a pretty cut price fee at the start of the game and the final player is the really unknown guy and that's fight to Muasa because even this guy would be good actually if you're starting with like a quite low team in the Premier League if you're trying to avoid relegation or you're maybe even starting the championship he's probably gonna have a rating of around about 70 I would predict given his performances in the French League this season he signed for Rennes uh, it's a decent side to play for in terms of bringing up youth players so definitely check him out his potential might not be that high I've personally predicted 83 slash 84 not entirely sure on that one um, but he would definitely be someone to bring in probably wouldn't cost you much more than four million pounds Pounds. Very good value for money. He's going to have a good potential, so definitely watch out for him as an under-the-radar, hidden gem style player for the next FIFA. But apart from that, that is basically it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, you'll learn some stuff from this one. The 10 players that I've brought you are surely guaranteed to be very good on FIFA 18 career mode, so definitely watch out for them. If you have enjoyed the video, then slap a like on it, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. You can also now follow me on Twitter as well. Well, my handle is on the screen, it is at the official FNG, and links to it are in the description below. But it has been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. Oh.
Come to the rave looking like gold Made it is with Kurt Angle boots on And I don't wear the boot on But they got normal shoes on Get the light out with the shoe from Get them Tell the young Uncle John I got a flex on no one I'm the original Don Come to the rave looking like gold Made it is with Kurt Angle boots on 